So today our plan is to approach some of these existing roof vents uh, that have been having some problematic leaks. What we've found is that the water is actually infiltrating through the vent cap that's already been installed. It's a traditional vent cap. We're talking very historical design. It hasn't been reinvented in you know, 100 years or better. What we're doing today is we're installing you know, a series of our roof vents to help solve the problem and prevent the water infiltration. Measure the existing duct coming through the roof. Be sure to double check your measurements. The duct should meet the top of the sleeve ordered. In some instances, you might need to shorten your existing duct depending on the sleeve height. Remove existing vent cap. Confirm that the pre-duct extensions would extend the duct to an appropriate length. Tape the extension on the end of the existing duct. Make sure to smooth out well to avoid any binding when sliding the roof goose sleeve down. Slide the roof goose sleeve over the vent, ensuring that it slides all the way down to the existing roof flashing and counter flashing. Slide the provided roof goose counter flashing down the outside of the sleeve until it's about six to eight inches above the bottom of the sleeve. Lock the provided roof goose neck onto the top of the roof goose sleeve. Use the gooseneck as a point of reference to turn your sleeve so the gooseneck faces your desired direction. Once the gooseneck is at your desired position, tighten the hose clamp at the base of the roof goose sleeve. Continue sliding the roof goose rain collar down until it stops. Repeat these steps as many times as needed. <laughs> 